So I want to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel, provide you guys an update on Aduro Clean Technologies. Uh, they just released uh, in May, uh, as of late, on adurocleantech.com, their new investor slide deck. You're going to want to go in there and you're going to want to check that stuff out. I've had a few questions come through the channel that, quite frankly, are, are very elementary and um, they are answers to questions contained within the Aduro uh, Clean Technologies Investor Slide Deck that you can find for yourself, questions along the um, uh, cost savings of the technology, um, uh, questions about their patent protection, um, things that uh, people who have done some level of uh, research on the company, not due diligence, should be able to answer for themselves. Uh, I have I have done that. I've answered that for, for myself. I'll provide you guys the links you can kick over there. Um, I, I don't mean to be rude or forward, uh, but this is a, a level of investing that requires you to do the level of due diligence. Why? If you do not, you will not be able to hold the stock the way that this stock will be required to be held uh, to maximum uh, profit potential. Okay, this stock. I don't come on and 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 profess that this is going to materialize tomorrow. As a matter of fact. By nature of Aduro's projections to us as as share owners in the company, um, we've we've got a, a lot of work to do from now until this thing could uh, be dabbling with a pre commercial unit engaged in their um, customer engagement program currently, um, making strides with regard to expanding their portfolio and and patent book. Um, that should be completed here in 2024, adding a few patents uh, to to what they bring to the table, um, as well as extrapolating the data from R2, which is uh, ongoing and uh, ever evolving, providing the necessary research that is going to be used to um, define the uh, parameters for the eventual pre-commercial uh, unit R3. Um, some of the uh, definitions and some of the explanations on what is going to transpire over the next coming years here in 2024. I, I know the stock has been flat in 2024. Uh, six months in a market means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Um, there is share owners out there that could feel a little bit frustrated. Is this thing too good to be true? Is this a good company? Is this company worth investing in? What I can tell you is this. What we know is that this company is setting up for a massive, massive re-rate. What they are doing uh, as an undertone to the public-facing news is nothing short of remarkable. And do I agree that the market is overlooking this company? I do. Do I believe that fair value is not being uh, assessed to this company with what they bring to the table? Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I think they are being dismissed in a market that would rather uh, provide you know favor to certain companies that don't deserve it and, and overlook companies that do. Um, what does that mean? It means that we call it for what it is. We call it the imperfections in the market, especially the micro cap market. We live to fight another day. My friends, we are setting up here for a value re-rate of epic proportions with what Aduro has going on with its customer engagement program and its portfolio of interested uh, clients and dossiers that um, you know they are being, being very tight-lipped about right now, and rightfully so. The competition in the landscape is writing itself as we speak, and it is important to understand where Aduro is going to find their place in this mix. For you guys that are new to the channel and interested in the Aduro story, um, I am a, an advertiser for Aduro Clean Technologies. I am a long stock owner in the company. I have been for the last couple of years, uh, and my position has uh, slowly grown over time. I will provide you the updated share position as well as the uh, levels of my interaction uh, with Aduro Clean Technology. Those disclaimers are provided in the description below for your perusal. And you can understand kind of the, where we come from and why we provide this product to help shore up some of the disconnect that I believe exists within financial markets. 
if we left it up to the microcap space, a Duro clean technology would go uh, unnoticed. And for you guys that are being provided this notice ahead of that potential re-rate, um, I think you guys can consider yourself lucky in that we provide you the uh, links to the Adura story. You can provide yourself the opportunity to do your own due diligence on this company uh, and and potentially follow the company. And maybe if um, you, you deem appropriate for your own investing style and portfolio, uh, potentially take Making a company in a, a stake in the company the way that I have. But I'm going to kick in and I'm going to highlight a few slides, not all of them in the new investor profile. The things that I thought really helped clarify some of the questions that I've got through the channel. Uh, let's kick in and uh, we'll do a little bit of deep dive on some of what I thought was important in the newest uh, investor slide deck. When we're discussing the magnitude of the plastic problem, I, I think this slide speaks to the benefits of the hydrocamylytic technology. There's a lot of companies working on solutions, but I think the important part here is to understand how Aduro could differentiate themselves from the rest of an industry that is looking to penetrate a, a very sizable addressable market, and we are in the early innings. So in your deliberation, it is important for you to try and differentiate between the companies and, and the solutions, and especially the technology, the chemistry that is being applied uh, over each of these applications and determine for yourself which ones uh, will have that competitive advantage. My money is with the DuroClean Technologies. Their ability to sport such a high yield and their ability to demonstrate these cost savings in the process uh, really do separate them into a, a, a three-step process all in one uh, and, and really helps to add to the value chain in that these companies are going to be able to uh, put minimal, if any, uh, attention specifically to sorting uh, and post-treatment when we're looking at a, a chemistry that is going to be accepting large amounts of feedstock from a multitude of different varieties of feedstock, different types of plastic out there. Certain uh, solutions out there can only deal with certain types of plastic. Uh, the hydrochemolytic technology can deal with all types of plastic, which... Um, with the low uh, energy input uh, and the ability to sport such high yields on the back end, you can start to really understand how this process in a whole uh, can be value added along multiple stages uh, in, in that process. And, you know, right now with Aduro in their customer engagement program, it, it is showcasing their ability to augment or uh, to to offer their solutions to companies out there that have unique problems, Aduro can adjust their technology to best fit the customer needs, and that's currently going on right now. This will help you guys in your deliberation differentiate, and you start to cross compare other companies out there, and Aduro's ability to return. Uh, almost an alarming rate of uh, fungible product in their 95% uh, recovery in their process of polypropylene. And this currently right now is not being recognized in the value of the company. Um, currently, the stock market and especially the microcap market is assigning, uh, it seems like, value randomly without really looking at the fundamentals. Certain companies get nods for no reason, and other companies like this um, will go through pro prolonged periods of no attention whatsoever. Um, we will continue to invest irrespective of the uh, market conditions day to day. Uh, and keep our focus long term on the facts of the matter, and that is a 95% recovery in an industry that is looking to tackle the plastic problems is second to none, far and away. Uh, the best recovery rate that I have seen in my due diligence uh, across the plastic recycling 
and across the multitude of different solutions out there looking to tackle this problem, it is absolutely the best. So do I feel like, you know, trading at 72 million market cap right now, this opportunity with the addressable market is reflected in the stock? Absolutely not. I, I would suggest right now that this company is being overlooked, if not looked at at all, um, because this fact and the company, the patent protected uh, technology that Adura Sports uh, and sporting such high yields on their polypropylene feed uh, should be getting more attention. And at present right now, it is not. What does that mean for shareholders in the company now? What does that mean for new potential investors and share owners uh, in the company uh, looking forward? It just means that we are marching toward an inevitable re-rating in value for the company. Um, this patent-protected technology that sports such high yield at such a low cost cannot go forever, and it cannot go ignored forever. And again, the imperfections of the market allow us the time to introduce this technology to would-be investors. When that re-rating happens, I have no idea. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm an investor. There's a big, big difference between aligning what we know and aligning where the company is currently and what they're doing and making a strategic forecast on where this company could end up going uh, with the facts that we do and do know and how they're going to materialize going forward. I speculate for fun on the company looking forward to 2025, 2026, and 2027 respectfully. I think that over the coming couple of years, we're going to see a transformation in the company along a number of different milestones. Um, the milestones that I speak of will not, and I do repeat, will not align with the movement in the stock. The stock may lag. The stock may jump ahead. Those are two very predictable outcomes. If you would suggest that somehow the milestones in what Aduro is trying to do in a phase from more of an exploratory company to a commercial company, there's somewhere in between that right now, uh, as we've deemed 2024 as a transitional year for Aduro. Um, the stock has kind of lagged a little bit. There hasn't really been a whole lot of attention or credit due to the news that has come forward that Aduro has been very forward on, news that I'm excited about with regard to their early stage customer engagement program. But I did want to take a few moments and highlight the strategic goals for the remainder of 2024. Um, this is very important, and it gives you guys that um, react better to visual uh, representation of what Aduro is going to do. This slide speaks to the very simple, very pointed, and very achievable goals that I expect 2024 uh, to render when we look back and we, we, we look at what they have done. I'll start with number three. Uh, that's the intellectual property looking to expand the IP uh, potential with adding a couple of patents. Ofer Vikas has talked about this, and I do believe that this will be a follow through in 2024 and Adura will deliver on that front. That's all I will say about that. I believe that that is a foregone c conclusion to extend their portfolio of, of patent protection over their technology. It is just in their best interest to continue to do that, uh, and we will await uh, those milestones as they are announced. The customer engagement program is alive and well. Uh, that is their interaction with uh, six, and I do repeat, six multi-billion dollar companies. Again, news that is being discredited by this current stock market. No problem. We'll continue to be patient. Uh, Would-be investors have to understand um, that this stuff takes time. Those engagements are very, very real, as well as their uh, current interaction with what, on the last disclosure, uh, was close to 20 companies out there that have shown interest in uh, the Aduro Clean Technologies Initiative. And, and, and number one, the next generation process. I think this is the one that uh, deserves the most attention, as I think the customer engagement program is an ever-evolving process as we move to clean products and as we move, uh, move into 
uh, the uh, the mixed product, and then finally the contaminated phase along all different spectrums of uh, of customer need. But to continue to work on continuous flow reactor to gain design parameters for the next scale up unit, this is key. I'm trying to draw the last of the uh, analytics off of R2 uh, to segue into what is going to be their pre commercial unit in R3. They are taking their time with this, rightfully so. They are trying to take every last bit of information and by some admissions would suggest that by running R2 at the rigor that they are may actually take the maximum amount of benefit away from running R2 into R3 um, in, in somewhat of an easy fashion. Usually when you define your parameters, it's much more difficult uh, to, to run equipment at its extreme. Uh, to make the system fail, uh, to, as Aduro has declared here, to design those parameters. But the R3 doesn't have to run at those extremes. By defining the extremes, they can understand where they can fall along that spectrum in building R3 and look to turn out a, a, an efficient unit somewhere along that low end of the spectrum as well as the maximum end of the spectrum and look to put R3 to work in the design parameters. And I, I think that's the biggest key takeaway is their strides toward that end in 2024. So starting with step one, I, I talked about the, the testing and parameters, but the design basis is going to be key as well. Now, there are some examples in the industry uh, that you know, can be referenced. Uh, I, I'm certain that Aduro is going to have their idea about what's going to be the most e efficient and effective uh, design process. Uh, they will make it modular so they can cater to those customers out there that don't need, uh, a, you know, a, a multiple ton reactor daily. Uh, they want to cater to customers along all spectrums, which I think is really, really smart. This is not a one size fits all deal. These design parameters will be able to be stretched, augmented to do what, as Eric Appleman suggested, to meet the end client's needs. Uh, and that is going to be the key in a observing Aduro and furthering their customer engagements and identifying how their solution can fit into each individual business uh, that they inevitably collaborate with. It's interesting here in 2024, the stock has lagged behind all the while the undercurrent of the customer engagement program, which Aduro is steadfast in really uh, expressing to share owners that this is the best way uh, to take this technology where it was a couple of years ago to commercial state. And and if they can pull this off, guys, this is going to be remarkable. Are they going to pull it off in its entirety in 2024? Absolutely not. Um, there will be marked progress toward an end. But to be honest with you guys, I, I really believe that this slide uh, speaks to setting a solid baseline and business plan in, in really starting to push the word out to potential clients and, and really start that domino effect. Because I think when word really gets out, and I'm talking really gets out on this technology, it is going to be a windfall of interest into the Aduro uh, Clean Technologies uh, platform. Uh, I think they're going to have too much business. I think it's going to open up multiple lines of expansion within the company, very necessary lines uh, at that. And just to look just three years ago where this company was with you know just a few employees and looking to uh, leverage the networks that they've built through the Brightlands campus, uh, as well as the higher ons that they've had over the last couple of years, I think the sky is the limit here with how they are taking their technology uh, to market. And this slide just speaks to Aduro's insistence that this is the best way uh, to introduce their technology to would-be customers and new clients.
So we've come out of the snapshot of the investor slide deck. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, I again invite you to adurocleantech.com. That's adurocleantech.com. The links are provided in the description for you guys to kick over there, uh, get to know the management, get to understand the share structure that uh, currently exists with Aduro and the potential opportunity that exists with the company. Guys, if you enjoy the content coming through the Independent Investor Channel, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. If you help support the message, strike up a dialogue on Aduro. Do you think that it is a good company. It's got prospects for the future. Are they in the right markets? And more importantly, could you uh, justify taking a position for yourself? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future.